Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, y'all. I'm gonna get a message out for you guys. I hope the message does resonate in every which way, shape, or form that it needs to resonate for you. If you like my vibe, give this video a thumbs up and also leave me a comment down below and let me know if the message does resonate, y'all, okay? Yeah, I hope everyone's having an amazing day on this beautiful Friday. It is so sunny outside uh, and I am loving it, okay? So let's get right into the message before these cars start flying everywhere. Okay, let's see what wants to come out for you. What are the messages? We have the Three of Swords. We have the World. And we also have the Higher Front. We have the Three of Wands. Oh, that's too many. We have the Ten of Cups. Oh. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Judgment. And we also have the Three of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is very heartbroken that something is over. This is something that someone prayed for, but easily let it walk away. Somebody also could be fighting with family right now as well. Hmm. What's this three of swords in the world? We got the hangman. And we got the hermit. At the bottom of the deck, we have the chariot. Somebody is very hurt. I can read this in like two different ways. Somebody is really hurt that they either go, go glow, <laughs> ghosted you in a cycle ended between y'all, or you could have ghosted this person and they're kind of feeling stuck and stagnant without you. What's the hermit of three of wands? Uh, okay. My nails won't let me pick the card up, y'all. We got the Four of Cups. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody could be rejecting someone at this time. And somebody is actually praying that you don't. Or you let them back in with the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the day. It's like somebody is like craving your energy. Somebody want to be back in your energy so bad. But this could have been after somebody rejected you. Somebody thought like the grass was greener on the other side. And I don't think it is. What's this four cups and a little fortune? We got the nine of cups in the reverse. Somebody is very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. It's like this person thought that Going a different route or going a different way was going to be a better outcome. It's kind of giving me like this person really thought they can Like they thought they wouldn't need you. If that makes sense. They thought they could live without you. They thought they had it. They thought it was better options. But something's not panning out. 
What's this nine of cups in reverse? We got the two of pentacles. Somebody is really juggling because you walked away. Like they're juggling their emotions. They don't know how to feel. They don't like they don't know how to feel right now. They are very like zone out. And it's because you walked away. But see, this person thought that they were going to be okay without you. They thought you were going to be the one that wasn't okay. What's this Ten of Cups and the Five of Wands? We got the Emperor in the reverse. Okay. And what's this Emperor in the reverse? We got the Nine of Pentacles. This Emperor in the reverse could be like having some sort of conflict with family. And it's about money, stability. With the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Like, this person is going through it emotionally. Like, emotionally. they It's like they can't believe that they let someone slip away so easily because they thought it was better out there. It's like, this is giving me, this is a person who always think the grass is greener on the other side. You know what I'm saying? This is a person that let temptation lead them. And they're kind of figuring out that mm, that's not the case. It's like this person is learning some sort of a lesson. You just don't throw away a diamond and pick up a gem. You know what I'm saying? This is, give, this is giving me that. And I'm not even getting any third party cards. Well, actually, I am. With this three of cups here, but I haven't clarified that yet. But what I'm getting, it's like, I don't know if this person chose someone over you, thought that they were better than you, but it's kind of giving me like, they thought this person was better than you. And then when they actually got over there, they wasn't. And they tried to like make them be or like groom them like to follow your lead in a way like try to like make them act like you or talk like you or just embody what you body but it, it didn't work out that way it didn't and just look at this person this person is like what the hell have i done And what is this? What's this emperor in this nine of pentacles? Oh, we got the strength coming out. And we also got the high priestess coming out. We got the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This person don't listen to their intuition at all. They just go by like sightseeing. It's like, if it looks good, I'm chasing it down. I'm going after it. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, well, do this person got a head on their shoulders? Do this person got a job? How's this person living? They just go off of, okay, I see you in public. You're looking good from head to toe and don't know what this person got going on at home, in their life, or anything like that. With this three of pentacles, five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, mm, they had a rude awakening. Let's get into it. What's this judgment in this three of cups? Oh. We got the two of wands and we also got the lovers. Yeah, this person definitely, we got the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck, this person definitely chose like a third party situation over you. And I'm getting a lot from this right here. It's like this person made a decision to choose a third party over you, okay? 
with the lover's card being here and the three of cups, along with the judgment and the two of wands. They definitely chose a third party over you thinking it was going to be great, thinking it was going to be lavish, okay? They could have chose somebody on their vibrational match, I'm saying. And when I say vibrational match, this person was vi vibing very low. So this person could have been into things that you don't even know about, things that you wouldn't even be interested in. As in threesomes, for example. This third party could have really got down with the get down and they were all for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, well, you into that. I'm into that. Let's, you know, do that. But somebody out of this situation was betrayed. There was a betrayal. Okay? I don't know if it's kind of giving me trapped. Like, this person thought it was, oh, this was like a trap. Let's see. What's this two of wands and a lovers? We got the two of cups coming out. Yeah, they could have trapped them in some sort of relationship with the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. But I really feel like they trapped this person for finances, for money to use them. What's the two of cups? Something flipped. Something flipped. Nothing flipped. I thought something flipped. No, I guess not. What's the two of cups? We got the moon. Yeah. <laughs> we got the moon. Somebody got into something that, and very quickly with the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, like somebody got into some sort of relationship. I'm really getting like they were baited. It was temptation. Like somebody fell for temptation. They really, really did. And they didn't know, like, the ins and out of this relationship. Something was definitely hidden when it came to this. This person, whoever this third party is, could have played on this person's emotions. Like, they, it's like this third party was feeding their ego, giving them everything they could have wanted when it comes to everything like i said threesomes just feeding their ego and not even knowing that they were being played the whole time what's the two of cups in the moon we got the knight of wands we got the six of pentacles and we got the four of wands this person could have even married this person this person could have even married this person with the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's like they thought this was like a good investment. It's really giving me two people playing each other and not even on it, okay? Because it's giving me this emperor in the reverse, you know, very controlling, um, want to control everything. But it's like they, it's kind of giving me they met their match type of deal. Like they met their match. And like I said, this like with this Knight of Wands, this Six of Pentacles, and this Four of Wands, somebody jumped in something so quickly, okay? And I really feel like this Emperor like married this third party for money, for even stability, not knowing that they didn't even have half the shit that this third party was saying that they had. Because this was a quick type of thing. They jumped into this. This what was hidden about this situation. This, 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 this partnership. It was hidden. It was hidden. It was temptation. This person baited them. Got in, in, and found out. Mm -mm. Mm. Found out. <laughs> It wasn't what they said it was. Let's see. Let's see. And then I'm going to get off this part for a minute. Let's see. What's this Knight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and this Four of Wands? 
We got the Seven of Cups. Like, mm. This with the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this person, this Emperor in the reverse, or and this third party, this third party could have let this Emperor in the reverse, like, have options. You can sleep with and date whoever you want to. You know what I'm saying? Like, this third party fed this person's ego, and they were falling for it. They were falling for it. Falling for it. Which is the Seven of Cups? With the Ace of Wands and a Death. Ace of Wands and a Death. What's this Ace of Wands and a Death? With the Justice. With the Fool. Somebody could have even got like a STD and don't know where it came from. Mm. Mm. As I open the deck with the Ten of Swords, somebody could have got like an STD and don't know where it came from. I don't know if it's this third party or this emperor. I don't know. It could be this third. I don't know. But I'm, I'm, we gonna get off of that. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, somebody definitely was tempted. Definitely was tempted, and yeah, they're realizing now, like that fast life, that poly life is not the business. What's this hanging in the heart? Let's get off of that, like. We got the Three of Pentacles. And we got the Six of Swords in the reverse. And we got the Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords at the bottom of the day. So this Emperor in the reverse is like realizing like, their friends could even be their family. Take it how it resonate. Like, kind of pulled them in a different direction or the wrong direction. I don't know if... Because like I said, either you ghosted this person or this person ghosted you. This person's, I don't know, somebody was working together, either friends, family, somebody was like working together to like keep this person in their south node. Mm. What's this three of pentacles and a six of, yeah, with the queen of swords and a reverse. Like somebody with the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck, somebody wanted to keep this person stuck. Definitely. And it's like, I'm also getting, it's like, whoever was like plotting behind the scenes to get this person, because it's like, it, they got this person to sabotage a really good thing for them, which was you. They seen how happy this person was. Okay. Because we got the Nine of Cups here and also the Two of Pentacles. This is somebody like juggling their emotions. They got this person to be indecisive about you. Could have been gossip, definitely with this Queen of Swords in the reverse, about you. But the whole thing was, it really wasn't even about you. They didn't like seeing this person happy. My bad, y'all. As I was saying, they didn't like seeing this person happy. This person surrounded themselves with people who drank a lot, partied a lot, scammed, cheated, lied. Like, this is the type of people this person was around, whether it was close friends or family. Somebody or people 
knew that they had a good thing, was jealous of it, is really giving me somebody close to him, a masculine figure. Also could have like partnered up with this third party I'm getting as well. It's like they wanted this person to sabotage something good because they were jealous. It's like it's giving me like, how did you pull them? How did you even get with this person? And and you know, they're looking at themselves like, well, we we didn't we don't got nobody like that. So we gonna do things behind the scenes and sabotage this for them. Somebody somebody was like very jealous around this person. Very jealous. Very jealous. What's this uh, Queen of Swords in the reverse? We got the Ace of Swords. Somebody was very jealous of this person. They didn't want to see this person win. They didn't want to see this person do better than them. And y'all take it how it resonates because this could be a past person of yours. This could be. It's really resonating as that. It's really coming to me as like this is a past person who kind of just like listened to some people that they were around because they were like trying to be accepted or trying to be, you know, didn't want to rock the boat. But baby... Listen, to be successful in life, to you got to rock the boat. To stand out, you got to rock the boat. You can't just follow the leader. We got the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Now this person is very burdened because I really feel like this person's eyes is open now that you're not in this person's life no more, now that you are not giving this person no energy, their eyes are, are open to the envious, vicious people that are around them. What's this Nine of Cups in the reverse and the Two of Pentacles? We got the Temperance. <laughs> What's the Temperance? We got the Ten of Wands coming out. Now this person does not have peace. This person is burdened. This person is really finding out that people was really competing with them. With the Five of Swords at the bottom of the day. They are wishing that they still had you in their precious. 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 You, you are very precious to this person. Very peaceful. They miss it. They miss it. Now they're burdened because they can't have it. They can't have it. This person has no peace in their life right now. None. What's this Ten of Wands? We got the Ace of Pentacles. And what's this Ace of Pentacles? Oh, all them, but what's this Ace of Pentacles? We got the fool. Now this person wants to, this person wants to express something to you, some sort of love, some type of love this person wants to express to you. Take it how it resonates, y'all. You might think this person just don't got no love for you at all. But what I'm seeing here, this person does. This person does want to take a leap of faith towards you. They do want to make things work with you. They see you as following your dreams, following your goals. You, they, and I don't know how. I don't know how. Do you put, I mean, I don't know. They, they they see you in some type of way or if they don't see you, they just knew that you were something good to them. And I really feel like it burdens this person to hold these feelings in as well. I really do. What's this fool? 
We got the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. This person does watch you in some type of way. Okay? They do. With this Page of Swords, they're wash wah, washing. Y'all, why my words keep getting crazy? We also got the Nine of Wands. They know that they put you through a lot. They know they did. This is giving me that this, whoever this person is, they're kind of like looking at life in a very harsh way. And I'm saying that because they're have, having to make decisions, realize who's in their corner or who's not in their corner, realizing they should have never done what they done. They should have never been so immature. They should not have never listened to people. They should not never let temptation take them down a road that they did not want to be. This person is kind of learning from their mistakes. And if they're watching you in any way, shape, or form, they're learning through you as well, believe it or not. Believe it or not. Because I do truly believe at one point in time, they thought it was funny. They thought by breaking you down was funny because these people thought it was funny. But the whole time, these people were sitting back laughing at them. Laughing at the fact that they were able to manipulate this person's feelings, mind, and everything else. Laughing at the fact that they were able to make this person throw away their own blessing. This person is realizing that now. That everybody's not your friend. And everybody does not have your best interest at heart. With this nine of wands, this person is going through some things right now. And it's kind of part of their lesson. You know, it's like you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. And whatever this person did, went towards, they really feel like they're stuck in it. And the people around them is really laughing at them. The same people that they thought that were their friends. The same people that they thought that they had their back, they thought they was making laugh. They, they and they this person could have even joined in the gossip. Joined in. That's what makes it so bad. Because these people was really looking at this person like, you sabotaging a good motherfucker, and we helping you. We helping you. Mm -mm -mm. What's the strength in the high priestess? Because this person definitely intuition was blocked. We got the king of cups. And what's the king of cups? We got the king of wands. We got the tower. Okay. Something's going on. What's going on? What's, what's this? It's too many. Too many. Just give me one. We got the King of Pentacles. We got the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Somebody could have like a couple of people, a group of people, okay? Because we got three kings right here. We also got the Three of Pentacles over here. Like I said, it was a whole group of people that was like really helping this person sabotage something good for them. We got three people right here, okay? And I really feel like whoever these people was, was like kind of blocking their intuition because they had them doing this and doing that and doing this and go here and talk to them and, and get with them and be a player and just have all types of females and we're going to see who got the bad, who got more females or who can... This was just straight... This is This is disgusting. This is disgusting. And I know this person right now is feeling like disgusted at themselves. 
Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. It's really giving me that these people is very gossipy, very evil, evil-minded people. I'm telling you, they was behind the scenes. Mm. What, why is all these kings out here together like this? Because they were doing something. We got the Ace of Cups. These people was playing with this person's emotions. And it worked with the Six of Wands. It worked. What's this Ace of Cups? <clears throat> Seven of Wands with the Chariot. Yo, I can't make this up. <clears throat> Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups. Playing with this person's emotions. Making them like not feel nothing for you. They knew this person liked you. They knew this person loved you. This person could even talk to these people about you. And, you know, you know how how, how people are. Because it could be guys, could be females. They kind of resonate. You know how people are. Oh, you a sucker. This, this, and that. I thought you was this. You soft. This, this, and that. Oh, that boosted this person's ego. Okay? They, they thought they had something to prove. Hmm. What's this Ace of Cups and the Seven of Wands? They thought they had something to prove. Oh, God. Everything fell. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Everything fell. Everything fell on the floor. And just by that happen, y'all, shit just went haywire. Shit went haywire. This person got to doing all types of shit, okay? All types of shit. Things you would never thought they would be doing to impress a group of people. What's this Ace of Cups and a Seven of Wands? We got the Knight of Cups. <laughs> this person wanted to come towards you so bad, but with the King of Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, they have people around them slowing them down. Slowing them down. What's this Knight of Cups, though? What's this Knight of Cups, though? We got the Eight of Swords and the Six of Cups. This person wants to return to you. They're slow to do it. Again, with the Knight of Cups, uh, Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, they're slow to do it. Because they know, they, they, they are in their head. When I say in their head, they are in their head, okay? They are missing you. They are missing you. They're not around nobody genuine. You were like the only genuine person in this person's life. You tried to keep this person head on straight. You could have met this person when they were... Not in the right place. You know what I'm saying? Not This person could have been depressed, you know, because they were around people or listening to people. Like, they miss you. They miss you. They miss you. Like, I feel it all in this reading. They miss you. If they can say something to you, they will say, I learned my lesson. I should have never did you the way I did you because you not one time ever judged me. Last few cards. I'm going to end the reading, y'all. Last few cards. What's this Eight of Swords and a Six of Cups? Eight of Swords and a Six of Cups. They're trapped in their head. With the six of cups coming out and also the devil and the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. They made a wrong decision when it came to walking away from you. When they walked away from you, they were in devil energy. They they were in devil energy. Like, who Lord, with the four of pentacles as I open it. They... 
are holding on to you. They are. What's this devil? Let's see what this devil is. What's this is devil. It's kind of giving me like when they walked away from you, they walked straight into their karma. Straight into it. Like literally, this was like temptation. Like I said, if this person would have just been like, look, y'all weird. I'm going after what I love. I'm going after my heart. I'm doing what I want to do. They would have never experienced this. What's this devil? Four of Pentacles. And what's the Four of Pentacles? They, oh, they're so codependent on your energy. They, oh, they're so codependent on your energy. With the Ten of Pentacles. Like, they want everything with you. They knew you were, like, wife material. They knew it. With the star, they knew it. But they allow people to manipulate them because of how it would have made them look if they actually would have chose you, okay? So this person is learning like a major lesson right now and you may not even want this person back. You are somebody's karma, honey. You. You are somebody's karma. You are somebody's greatest lesson. Greatest lesson. Because right now, you're probably married or in a relationship or just had a baby or got a baby on the way. Men and women take a high resonate. You were probably living your life. And this person now is just starting to feel everything that you felt when they walked away. Or when you had to walk away. Take it how it resonates, y'all. Okay? So, whew, this is going to be your reading, y'all. I hope the reading did resonate for someone. I hope somebody did get some insight out of this reading, y'all. Okay? I hope everyone continues to have an, an amazing day. It is Friday. Turn up. Okay? And I'll see you guys in the next reading for my earth signs. Y'all videos is coming. I'm going to post it, okay? Just give me some time. Give me some time. And I'll see you guys in the next reading, y'all. Bye.